If you're looking to run the newest version of Windows 11, which is 24H2, you need to watch this video because you might not be able to run it on your current CPU. All right, guys, we've got an interesting one today. Microsoft has confirmed they are calling our bluff. If you were bypassing the system requirements for CPU on Windows 11 previously, they are throwing down the ax. They are giving you the big red X. You will no longer be able to run Windows 11 starting at version 24H2 if your CPU does not have POP CNT. Now, what is POP CNT and how do we check if our CPU is capable of supporting it? That is really the purpose of this video today. So POP CNT, uh, also known as population count, is a CPU instruction used to count the number of set bits, aka ones, in a binary number. So binary is zero and ones. If a bit is set, it's going to be set to one. If it's not set, it's zero. Okay, so this operation is also known as bit population count, hence the name POP CNT. It's also known as hamming weight, like hamming, H-A-M-M-I-N-G, weight. It's useful in various applications such as cryptography, error detection, and data compression, where efficiently counting the number of ones or set bits in a binary representation of a number is necessary. So it's kind of been a long time coming. They've been talking about it for quite a while, and they finally said, okay, this is it. 24H2, if you don't have POP CNT on your CPU, eh, you're not getting in the door, dude. So interesting to me, I think it's very interesting that they would do this in the middle of an OS, uh, hence Windows 11. I mean, kind of weird. Um, I guess it's fair game since technically they've already said you need to have pop count it's just that we were able to get around it for so long with windows 11 i think it would make more sense if they threw down that red x or that big flag and said starting in windows 12 pop counts a must from day one but hey who am i i'm just a guy that consumes windows right so anyway it is what it is as of right now there's no way around this so we need to get in there and check to make sure our cpus can actually run 24h2 so here's an article from NeoWin that just kind of gives a high level about, you know, how to check and just explaining what Microsoft did. But on to how to actually check, I'm going to give you two options. You can use CPU-Z, a.k.a. CPU-ID. I'm going to give you a link for all these, including this article and then CPU-Z and the other utility I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, CPU-Z is very popular. It gives you a lot of information about uh, your hardware in general. But specifically your CPU in this case, it's going to give you the different instruction sets that your CPU is capable of. And what we're really looking for here, guys, for um, the instructions are going to be, you need to look for SSE4A if you're running an AMD processor. And if you're running an Intel chip, then you need to look for SSE4.2. Now, you may have both, but just note, if you're running Intel, it's got to be the SSE 4.2. And if you're running AMD, you need to see that SSE 4A. All right. So, again, I'm going to give you the links to download these. These are very straightforward downloaded installations. You download them. If it's compressed, unzip it, run through the install, and you're good to go. Just launch it. So let's go ahead and take a, take a look at the first one, which is CPU-Z, a.k.a. CPU-ID. Let me go ahead and launch that for you guys now. All right, guys, this is CPU-Z that you see on my screen here. I've zoomed this in in OBS so you can get a better look at it. A ton of good information here if you've never used this uh, application. But you can see that my CPU is a Ryzen 7 7700X. And what we really care about here, guys, is down here again on the instructions. I'm running an AMD, so obviously I need to look for that SSE4A. I also see the SSE 4.2, so that's great. Uh, but as long as you're running, if you're running an AMD chip, as long as you see the SSE 4A instruction set, then you are good to support POP CNT on your CPU. You're good to go. All right. So the next piece of software I wanted to show you guys is going to be a specific um, third-party app from GitHub called Why Not Win AI. So I'll give you this link as well in the description. Just download this zip, extract it, and install it. It does require a version of .NET, so if you don't have that, it's nice that they've included that within the installation. It'll detect for it. If you don't have it, it'll give you the option just to click install, and it'll run that for you. 
All right, so let me go ahead and get that launched as well. All right, guys, this one is called Why Not Win AI. Again, this is from GitHub. So just go ahead and install it. And then once you have it launched, check. Uh, I've checked use AI driven checks. When I didn't check that, I didn't see the actual pop CNT compatibility, but you let me know if you have any different results. So anyway, I checked that and then I just hit check compatibility. All right, now we are looking for a specific line right here. CPU supports pop CNT instructions, done. So as long as that's green and you have a little rocket ship, you are good to go, guys. So that's a very easy way to check compatibility for Windows 11 24H2. Those are a couple options. The third option, guys, is a little more boring, but you can go to the manufacturer's websites for AMD and Intel. And that article that I showed you here uh, does talk about that a little more, where you can go to the official websites, look up your specific CPU, and then see whether or not it supports it. But I think it's a little easier to be 100% positive if you're using something like CPU-Z or even that GitHub uh, application that I showed you, which is Why Not AI. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think uh, Microsoft is pulling the rug on people? Or do you think this is fair game since they've pretty much been saying this since Windows 11 came out? Um, even though there were workarounds that now they have taken out of the equation. So they have system files starting in 24H2 that will not run. And I don't even think they'll let you install 24H2 because they'll do a uh, hardware check ahead of time. But basically there's some new system files or updated system files that will not work without uh, pop CNT on your CPU. So what do you guys think? Again, is this Microsoft being... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say a bully, but did they pull a fast one here? Or was this something that we should have anticipated the whole time? I could see a lot of people adopting Tiny11 after this if they've got older CPUs. Now, to be fair, most modern day CPUs do have this, but there is a lot of people in the world, and I'm sure a good, maybe a, a small majority, minority, whatever, are using older CPUs. It It's definitely out there, right? Not everyone can afford to go get a brand new computer with a brand new proc and everything like that, so... Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you're addressing this if your CPU doesn't meet the requirements. And lastly, guys, let me know if you have another way that you're using to validate Pop CNT on your CPUs. All right, guys, if you stuck around at the end of this video, I really do appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. My goal is 10,000 subs by the end of the year. We are not trending on track right now, guys. I know that's my fault. I'm not putting out as much content as I should, but I'm going to try to ramp that up. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this. Share this video with your friends. Maybe they're not aware. Uh, if you are in IT, you need to get the word out to your friends that are in IT because this may be a game breaker. If you've got a fleet of PCs out there uh, in your field that don't support this, because eventually you're going to have to get the 24H2 or above to get updates, right? They'll the life cycle of OS is going to basically phase out 23H2 sooner or later. And uh, yeah, you may be in some, some trouble at that point. So let me know what you guys think and let me know how you're addressing this. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day. Until the next one, take care.